my friends, I'm Frank and welcome to Glove Foodie. At one point in our lives, we want to cut down or eliminate certain types of foods and ingredients, like sugar, salt, fat, and so on. Low carb is another one that people see in their diet by replacing pasta and rice with other foods. I have an amazing recipe that actually tastes better than the traditional one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my cauliflower fried rice. You might think, wait a minute, really? But frankly, not only is it healthier than using the typical rice, but also the flavor is incredible. This is what I call a I feel good meal. Mm -hmm. So my friends, let's get cooking. This is our beautiful cauliflower head. And what we'll do is to separate it into florets by removing the lower stem as well as the leaves. You shouldn't discard them as both are edible. You just have to chop them finely and reuse them in soups, salads, and stews. I talk more about it on the blog, so check it out. So when we're done using a food processor with the shredding disc, we'll add the florets and process until they resemble the size of rice. If you use the blade, be careful to not over process. We should end up with about 5 to 6 cups of cauliflower rice. Now I like to spread a thin layer evenly on two baking sheets lined with paper towels to remove some moisture. Look at my hands, they're all wet. Then I apply more paper towels on top and gently press down and let it sit for about 15 minutes while I prep the other ingredients. Another alternative is to dehydrate them in the oven or use a dehydrator for crispier rice. Alright, now let's make a sauce. In a small bowl, we'll add soy sauce, then orson sauce, be careful, it will splash everywhere, and chili oil. I have a homemade recipe for that, so check it out by clicking on the top right corner of your screen. We'll give a quick whisk so the ingredients are nicely blended and set aside for now. When it comes to the eggs, we'll add a couple pinches of salt and beat everything well. So now we're ready to cook. In a wok over medium-high heat, we'll add canola oil, and when it gets hot, we'll add onions, carrots, and celery. We'll saute the vegetables for two minutes. This is a quick recipe, so it's very important that your mise en place is done before starting, okay? Then we'll add red peppers and saute them for one minute. To this, we'll add pressed garlic and minced ginger. This time, we'll saute for just 30 seconds before adding the peas that are slightly thawed out and toss them into the mixture. Now, the star of the show. We'll add the cauliflower rice and combine with the rest of the ingredients. We'll cook for four minutes, tossing constantly. Next, we'll make a well in the middle, pour in a little bit of oil, and then add our beaten eggs. We'll let them sit undisturbed for 20 seconds. Then scramble them, but we won't cook them all the way through, leaving them a little on the soft side before tossing them with the rest of the ingredients. Last but not least, we'll pour the sauce over and toss one more time until well coated. Don't forget to taste and add more soy sauce if needed. We'll garnish with sesame seeds along with the green parts of a scallion and serve immediately. And my friends, this is our cauliflower fried rice. This healthy low carb dish is so tasty. It's the perfect recipe to get a serving or two of vegetables into your diet. From start to finish, you can enjoy this delicious meal in less than 30 minutes. 
I hope you give it a try soon. And be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends. Bon appétit. Bye.